Here's an unpopular TTRPG opinion. As a game master, game runner, you can make your monsters immune to damage. System agnostic, doesn't matter, you can do it. In fact, Monster of the Week specifically tells you to make your monsters immune to damage. Now there's a lot of good reasons to make your monsters immune to damage, and there's also a lot of good story reasons to explain why they can't be damaged. For example, let's say your adventurers are traveling through the living Witchwood, and as they, they progress, there's this ever-present threat. In a sense, you can treat that traversal, that encounter, as a long-form puzzle or trap. This type of threat is very common in video games, especially side-scrollers. Another good reason, or another good explanation for why an enemy creature might be immortal, is that they have another weakness that players can seek out. Building on this same encounter, that could be the heart of the woods, like a gemstone that just needs to be shattered, and that weakens the entire rest of the Witchwood. And that's also very common in stories and video games and movies. On another note, it's not uncommon for stories to give major villains invincibility powers, like a ring, or some other enhancement that, that makes them too much of a threat for the players to deal with until they can destabilize that empowerment. So tell me, have you ever had a monster, creature, or villain that was immune to damage? Duet, stitch, or comment? I'd love to hear it.